Daniel Shane here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. My first ever intro. Yo, we are making history today. It is my first ever intro in the PNW, baby. That's right, my fellow Pacific Northwest Anglers. You better watch out, because the Asian has come for your daughters. Okay, I'm just messing around, okay? I may not be here specifically to target any daughters, but for the next few days or so, I am going to be exploring the watersheds around this area and doing full species assessments so that I will be able to show you guys, the viewers, what is swims and lives around here. Now, first and foremost, I would like to say, you may realize, right, that it is a little bit smoky out here right now if you guys follow the news this is pretty sad but recently in the west coast of the united states of america there has been a series of fires right wild fires and all that smoke from california went all the way up to where i am which is spoken washington so yeah we got some silent hill vibes for the entire video today and i am going to apologize in advance because you know it's probably not going to be prime right the footage but as for the fishing let's go down to the creek that i'm going to be exploring today check it out you guys will see what i'm talking about oh man always got to watch out for the terrain over here in the mountains Ooh, gopro definitely doesn't make justice but some places over here are quite steep. I'm currently walking to the creek. It should be this direction over here. So give me a few minutes and we're going to be right there. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's some kind of moose, I think. It's big, man. I was just a little bit terrified that it could be a bear or something like that. But this fell over here. I don't, I don't think we should have a problem. We should have a problem. Check it out, guys. On my way to the creek. On my way to the creek. Look what we find over here, huh? I told you, right, man? It was big, man. You come on those wildlife, you go on those wildlife trails. You never know what you're going to find, man. I know, I know. I, I'm not going to approach it too much. I don't want to die today. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful, isn't it? A whole wild moose. All right, we're getting there. We got signs of a, of a fire over here. Not the smartest idea since we've been getting all different types of fires over here in the Pacific. Woo, all right, this is it. This is, this is the creek that we're going to be exploring today. The Lata Creek, AKA an abandoned creek that has been around this area since the beginning of the, well, it has been here forever it has been abandoned aka neglected since the beginning of the 1900s yeah local anglers don't really fish this creek because all the species in it are apparently unwanted species this creek does not support the reproduction of trout right which is why everyone just fishes the main spokane river and you guys know me when it comes to abandoned and neglected Okay, that doesn't sound too good, but you guys get the idea, right? Gotta tell you though, the view over here is beautiful. Check that out. Huh? People actually carve things out of the rocks over there in that little area. The whole thing over here is new to me. That, that moose, it was the first ever moose ever that I've seen, you know, face to face. Ooh, fascinating. I thought it was a bear, thankfully. No bear. I don't even know if there are bears over here. Anyways, let's get the fishing started. Game plan for today, catch whatever bites because anything over here could be a new species. I just did a little bit of exploring over here. Got my gear ready. And I gotta tell you, other than waterfowl over here, I haven't seen signs of any fish whatsoever no feeding of any kind no jumping no minnows or shiners no suckers and you know what <laughs> i didn't expect it to be easy right so game plan for today i got just a size 10 hook right now 
we are going to scout. I got night crawlers that I got from Walmart. No weight, just a night crawler, cast it at different parts of the creek just to see if we get bites or at least follows. And then once we find the fish, whew, it will be time to slay. Dude, how can this be? There's got to be a fish of some sort somewhere around these areas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Tiny, tiny fish right over there. Only one, only one. This hook is too big, but there's a tiny fish right over here. As far as I found the target, all I need to do is switch hooks and try again. Got one, I got one. Oh my goodness, these are very, very tiny. Whoo, I got it in my hands, fellas. Let's not forget that every species here could be a potential new species, right? Which is why I need to take care of all of these fellas with the utmost care, okay? I don't know what they are. Look at that. First sample of the day. Dude, what is it? Actually, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too keen on identifying these fellas because I'm not familiar with the species of the Pacific Northwest. Um, what exactly is that? Ladies and gentlemen, you will need to forgive me, but it is my first time ever in the Pacific Northwest. I am not too familiar with all the different species of fish around this area, which is why I will probably need your help when it comes to a lot of the fish identification over here. I just took photos of this little fella over here and my primary assumption, take it with a grain of salt, is that this is a juvenile northern pike minnow, a native species to this area, okay? The Pithecocalus oregonensis. That being said, I am not 100% sure. Let's just go release this fella, yeah? Let's choose a nice spot right over here. And you know, regardless of what this actually is, this is a new species for me, 293. So, I mean, win-win situation, right? Check it out. Hmm, is it really a juvenile pike minnow? I don't know. But hey, it was a beautiful sample, right? So let's switch here and let's see if it will be able to come out of the photo tank. Oh yeah, found its freedom. That is what's up. First fish of the day, new species. I like where this is going. Assuming that that was a northern pike minnow, I know that the folks will probably come here on the channel and they start with, oh, you know, you have to kill the northern pike minnow in Washington State, right? Let me just emphasize that I am here at the Lata Creek, which is on the upper Spokane River, right? So don't even talk about the Columbia system. This species is native to this area, okay? It is not going to do major damage over here because the Salmonids don't even swim up that air, this area anymore because of dams. So let's just clear that up before I continue with the fishing. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, easy, easy, easy. Is this the same or is this different? Oh, this is different. This is the yo, homies. This is different. Oh, every time you find a school of micros, make sure you hit it hard, son. Cause new species may just be right around there. Multiple ones. Got some water in the photo tank. Boy, this water is freezing. Look at that, huh? Beautiful sample right over here. I just took a lot of photos, a lot of shots of this little fella and I can tell you with 100% certainty that this ain't no northern pike minnow, okay? If you look at the photo of this little fella in particular, you will notice that the mouth is terminal, that is number one, therefore this cannot be a speckled dace, which is another species that lives around this area, right? And furthermore, there is a red line, kind of red golden, along the side of the body, and the body is deep, much deeper than the northern pike minnow. And therefore, 
I believe that what I have in my hands is a new species, a species 294, the red side shiner. Sadly, they, they do suffer from sexual dimorphism, and it seems that this sample doesn't really have the red line on the side of its body, right? Uh, not to mention that this dude got one of the cheesiest scientific names ever. Richard Sonius Balteatus. Richard Sonius, like Richard. I kind of feel bad for this little guy. Anyways, let's put it back where it belongs. Less than 15 minutes, and we got two new species over here at the Lata Creek. I don't care what people say, unwanted creek or whatever it is. When the EPF comes over here, man, no species no species is safe oh man pike minnow after pike minnow only pike minnow don't even have a room to do a full hook set over here look at that man there's like a whole school of northern pike minnow down there gets the worm as soon as it gets down there yeah all right all right there we go another northern pike minnow I think this ain't gonna work. I think it is time to move spots and uh, go explore some of the other places around here to see if we can find some different species of fish, right? Maybe go a little bit upstream and see if there's anything different. So far, we have established in this video that, hell yeah, there is a population of northern pike minnow <laughs> and red side shiner in this creek. Oh man. I gotta tell you, it is summertime, but my feet are freezing and I'm using the waterproof socks too. They're dry, but the water temperature is very low. You add all the smoke over here from the fires and look, look at over there. You can barely see the damn sun in the sky. Whew, man, struggle is real. All right, let's go a little bit upstream and try to see if there are some bigger species of fish in this place, right? I heard from online reports, scientific reports, that there should be different species of suckers in this creek. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness. Tiny fish just came from under the rock. Tiny fish from under the rock. Oh yeah, got it, got it. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Please don't fall, man. Please don't fall. Go back to land, my dude. Go back to land. I got him. Ooh, exciting, boy. It is some type of scoping. Check that out. Little scoping. My first one ever, boy. You folks have no idea, but this tiny fish over here is so special to me. <laughs> On so many different levels. Let me just give you guys a little view of this guy. I just took shots of this little fellow over here, side body, from the top, below, because although this is a sculpting, I have absolutely no idea what species it is. They are actually pretty, pretty hard to identify. So I'm going to hit the books later. This is a species 100% 295 for me. This is my first ever freshwater sculpting. And this is the 100th species of 2020, okay? So in 2020 alone, I have caught 100 different species of fish thus far. Three milestones, dude. One fish. All right, let's put it back where it belongs. Um, boy, let me tell you, now that I know that there are some scopings over here, I'm going to release it right here in the current which is where pretty much I found it in its natural environment. Oh my man, let me go a little bit upstream. You guys can have a view of this little, little fella right over here, just to stay on the bottom of the photo tank. That is what's up, bro. What a beautiful creature. What a beautiful creature. Look at that. Look at that. All right, little fella, you're free to go. Oh yes, oh yes, you see that? You see that right over there? Against the current, right? Healthy. Yeah. Wow, I can't emphasize enough. What a beautiful little critter. Even from the top view, 
right over now you guys can still see the little fish right the little fish is right over right over there you see that fascinating fascinating i love this place you know fellas i don't like the idea of kicking rocks all around the creek or moving things too much so i got myself one of these branches that i just found along the margin right here right next to the homeless camp and um I'm just using it, right, to touch the rocks very lightly. And then if something comes out or something swims around, I know there's a scoping around. If nothing moves, well, I just slowly and carefully wade and look for the next set of rocks. Opa! Rapaz, está aí, hein, grandão! Oh, he saw it. I got it. He got it. And I got him. Not sure if it is the same species of scoping as the last one. So we're going to put it in a photo tank. And we're going to take additional photos. Got to keep a pocket of air inside of her hand. Just like that. Right? Don't press. Don't press. Very nice. I got to tell you, all of these scopings look alike. I am not exactly sure if this is the same one. Because <laughs> the one that I just caught, just in case, I got a bunch of photos, so you just never know, right? All right, let's do a release over here for you guys. You guys decide, right? What do you guys think? Does this look like the same sculpting as the previous one? Does it look different? I mean, I certainly don't know. I'm going to flip it a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. Get out, my man. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah I don't know. It looks the same, kinda, but again, all of them kind of look look the same, right? Yeah, all right, little fella. Ah, go figure, my man. <laughs> I got to tell you all, if you think that the EPF enjoys being in like 50 degrees water, just doing this kind of stuff over here, it is definitely not my favorite pastime, but it is part of life listing right those little scopings man they blend in so good with the creek sometimes they dart out you you don't even know where they went to yeah i just hope there's something good over here i'm gonna spend another 15 minutes over here and then i'm gonna head further upstream to try to find some deeper holes we are coming across one of the many homeless camps around here at the beginning i thought that these people were hikers right so that they just you know camp outdoors over here but no man some of them got all different types of stuff over here they've been leaving out here i don't even know how because mornings and evenings i got to tell you it is like 50 degrees fahrenheit so cold I was going to keep going upstream but it doesn't look very productive over here so I'm just going to use my buddy's camp over here you know and uh, and get out from the little path I hope they don't mind excuse me don't mean to intrude all right we good we good gentlemen took me a little while to get out of that vegetation I explored the upper portion of the Lata Creek for a little bit and the creek kind of got shallower and tinier so you know what I decided to head downstream instead of upstream closer to the mouth of the Spoken River so that hopefully we'll find some new species over here I am actually running out of time. I'm going to get some lunch around 12 o'clock. So let's fish for about 45 more minutes, maybe find one more hole or two and see if anything new shows up, yeah? Oh yeah, I'm digging this spot over here. I was fishing right over there at the beginning of this video, right? Just had a little bit downstream. Look, 
the water comes all the way from over here you got a swift current right that gets carried this direction into the falls and right here you have a boulder under this boulder there's a huge hole so if there are fish micro or bigger it's got to be under this boulder right here yo sha what is this what is this 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 looks different dude i don't know this this looks this looks very different doesn't it whoa i'm not so sure what is this i'm not so sure what is this oh yeah son you all can call me crazy but it was a good darn decision to come downstream over here found this little hole saw the fish come out darted to get the bait size 18 hook fourth new species of the day baby let me let me give you guys a view of this very unusual and unique species called the chisel mouth this is a micro chisel mouth right here the acrocalus alutaceus boy and i will tell you why it is called the chisel mouth in one moment if i can just grab this guy to show you guys the mouth of the beast you see the mouth over here you see below over there it feels like there's a little looks like there's a little chisel over there right that's why it is called the chisel mouth son what this fish does is it stays on the bottom and uses this little chisel like thing on its mouth to scrape things out of the rocks to feed on it fascinating isn't it four new species in one day man we are going to hit that 300 in no time at all but before that let me put this guy back that is what's up my man found a little hole over here four species man i don't care so much about the sizes you know what i'm saying it is really all about the new species lata creek people said yeah this creek is dead this creek is dead right it ain't dead homie it may have little tiny species that you guys don't want but it ain't dead oh yes oh you're free dude you are free go go chisel mouth go swim away boy ah yeah Well, I can tell you all that I understand why this creek over here is abandoned, is lash, neglected. I mean, the sheer amount of homeless that I've seen today. All right, I'm just messy. I'm just messy, okay? But seriously, I explore this little creek for about four hours this morning, up and down, and I did not see a single fish bigger than four inches the biggest fish that i've seen in the lata creek was a four inches northern pike minnow so i understand if the locals don't want to come here and fish here because you know i mean there's just no game fish to be caught there's no big fish i mean i haven't seen even, even any suckers in this creek today at all but needless to say for a life lister that's a different story right as they say woman's trash is another man's treasure four different species of fish in the morning oh boy we are at what 296 approaching 300 very very productive morning okay very very happy that i came out here that i explored people may hate this place neglected abandoned bro thumbs up epf gives it a thumbs up now i'm going to get some lunch i got some leftover rice and beans from yesterday night's mexican hopefully that doesn't give me you know diarrhea all right i'm gonna eat here my subway macadamia nuts cookie you want some of these nuts i'm just mess and then after we eat i'm going to explore over there the spokane river and see what happens so thank you very much for watching this video Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Tie lines. Um, take it easy.